Well, it's weather on demand for Friday, February 21st. A look at our snow reports from yesterday and overnight. Weather service picking up on 2.7 inches of snow. Waters me getting in there of 2.4. Lurium reporting 4. Silver City and Ontonagon reporting 6.5 inches of snow. Some changes overnight. We're still hanging on to our blizzard warning, and uh, that continues until this evening. A winter storm warning also hanging on to those far western counties, adjacent portions of Wisconsin until this evening. Winter weather advisory is now in effect for much of central, northern, and eastern upper Michigan. And we also have a high wind warning for uh, Delta Southern Schoolcraft. That's where we expect the strongest winds throughout your day today. Temperatures mild to start at the 8 o'clock hour. Temperatures generally above the freezing point or at least just around freezing. Places like Escanaba, uh, Marquette, Houghton Hancock all checking in in freezing point. And it's a little cooler across those uh, uh, far western counties, but even that temperatures into the upper 20s. We'll call that mild. Here's a look at the peak wind gusts around the area, and uh, you'll notice generally calm winds over the Keweenaw Peninsula. That's because the main center of low pressure is centered right over the uh, Keweenaw Bay. But look at these peak wind gusts into the 20s, above 30 miles an hour at times. There is some reduced visibility, places like over towards uh, Ironwood, some minor visibility restrictions down to less than a quarter of a mile across the far western UP. And the radar usually struggles to see that snow shower activity, but picking up on some good snow there, drier air wrapping around this main center of low pressure and some enhanced snow across central upper Michigan. So we'll say the low center just over the Keweenaw Peninsula. And as we span out, you can see that drier air, but you can also see some of that wraparound moisture, high pressure and colder air filtering in back behind that system. And look, there was a severe aspect to this uh, low as well. That's the cold front. You can see that squall line still survived the overnight, and there were some damaging wind gusts. There was a, a dozen or so tornado reports, mainly across places like Illinois yesterday afternoon. This morning, just some minor uh, flooding concerns, perhaps some wintry weather up towards uh, upstate New York. Closer to home, the cold uh, temperatures will uh, begin to filter in. That'll change any mixed precipitation back over to snow for us. We also watch uh, even stronger winds as the slope continues to strengthen. Uh, pressure bar its pressure is currently around 976 millibars, which is impressive, and that continues to deepen. So the low pulls away. It's mainly snow for us, but even later this afternoon, snow showers winding down. And as we look at Saturday, still under a generally westerly flow, and you can see with these isobars, which are lines of equal height, we're still pretty gusty. We watched some lake effect snow, especially across the western UP by Sunday. You can still see we're still under that uh, influence of that low lake effect snow across mainly the uh, uh, northern half of upper Michigan. So winds are breezy out of the north. First thing this morning, eventually though, they go westerly. That keeps snow into the forecast, falling temperatures, and uh, we eventually see uh, temperatures taking a tumble across the eastern UP. Watch those breezy south and southwest winds. More snow to talk about this afternoon and evening. Snow continues overnight as well. Although it's generally a drying trend, especially across the western UP. Your Saturday looks snowy, especially along the superior shoreline. And it'll be breezy. Peak wind gusts easily around 30, 35 miles an hour still. But all in all, we start to lose the influence of that low pressure. We then talk about colder temperatures. More on that later on. Here's a look at your or snowfall forecast for today. The higher snow totals across the far western UP. So we stay below normal into the weekend with uh, some lake effect snow along the superior shoreline. And then we turn our attention to the next bitter cold snap for midweek. Wind chills perhaps around 20, 25 below once again by then. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.